Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. I'm the Sheepy Sheep and Dana. Today we're going to continue onwards with the newest world that we have just entered. The, jung the, the, the deep, dung deep Jungle, that's the one I think. And as you can as you can tell, this is a Tarzan world, and it's been a long time since I last played this, so chances are I may or may not get lost. It depends really on how things handle. But um, for the first thing we're gonna want to do is basically go down here into this tree trunk because this tree trunk will lead us towards a sliding section, which is actually pretty easy. Pretty easy. You just move the left analog stick up and down to go faster or slower, and you can move left and right. Press the X button, you'll attack. If you press the circle button, you'll jump. So it's the same old shenanigans that we all come to know and love throughout the series so far. But yeah, this looks dated. <laughs> I used to be so amazed when I played this originally back on the PS2. This used to look amazing to me. But you know, time isn't too, time isn't too good with some of these games. Now this. As time goes on, the sliding section will open up and we'll be able to enter more areas, but for now we've just got that tiny little section at the start. Just wait for it to really stop boosting up. It'll take its time, but it'll happen. Anyway, what we're going to want to do now is actually pick up these slides. Now you can do the slide thing later, but you want to go around the camp and pick up these slides right now because there's no enemies to harass you and be rather bothersome at the minute. Now, why do you need to pick up these slides? It'll be explained in a bit. That it's it's plot related. What can I say? So I I can't remember how many slides the there are in total, but basically, if you follow my route, you should be able to grab all of them and pretty much get on through. I mean, I think I think we're pretty much done with them already. Actually, there aren't, there aren't that many slides around the camp. You just need to keep looking around and uh, break some. You gotta bust some barrels, just like Luigi, because Luigi loves busting barrels. Oh yes. Um, why the Luigi voice? This isn't a Mario LP. What is the going on? What is the going on? Okay. I believe that's actually all of them. Yeah, let me just climb up here quickly just to double check. Uh, camera. Cam Alright, fine. Don't I want to double check then. Fine. I'll find out if I got them all in a minute. So we're gonna want to enter this year tent. Jane! Tarzan! Oh, and who's this? Uh, hi there. I'm... Oh, you speak English. So then, obviously you're not related to Tarzan. Are you here to study the gorillas? Highly doubtful. Sora! Oh. Goofy! Donald! <laughs> A circus of clowns. Not much use for hunting gorillas. Mr. Clayton, we're studying them, not hunting them. This is research. Well, the more the merrier. Do make yourselves at home. Well, anyway, I'm staying. Huh? Sora, look what we found. Look at this. <laughs> So, it's a gummy block. Now, there's reasons why uh, that was just hanging around. We're going to be picking up a couple of these throughout the quest. We've already picked one of them up, I think, in, uh, in Wonderland. So, time will tell what exactly the new gummy ship's pieces are for. But anyway, that's a protect gummy. You can use it to basically protect your ship. It increases your armor, what can I say? Now, but yeah, we're going to swap out Go Donald with Goofy as always because Donald is weaker, Goofy is stronger, and Tarzan is powerful as heck in this, if I remember correctly. I could be completely wrong, but what's in here? I don't remember this chest before. Mithril Shard. I really don't remember that being that. Okay, well, either way, let's talk to Jane here, see what she has to say. So, yeah, you, I, I love the, I have to say, I love the music in this um, world, actually. The music in the Tarzan world is so Donkey Kong Country-esque, I guess. And I love my Donkey Kong Country. Anyway, uh, basically, she just gave us the little quest to give, get those slides I already picked up. So let's just keep pressing triangle and examining this year's slideshow thingy, and, hmm, that looks... That looks familiar, but I can't quite place where. Sora thinks so too. 
Anyway, just basically keep going through these slides. She'll what a cutting an issue if you go if you collect all the all the slides and yeah. See? What did I say? Well, Tarzan? Where are my friends, Riku and Kairi? Hey, I thought that leaves just one place. Young man, we've been in this jungle for some time now. But we have yet to encounter these friends of yours. I'd wager they're with the gorillas, but Tarzan refuses to take us to them. Really, Mr. Clayton? Tarzan wouldn't hide- Then take us there. Take us to the gorillas. Gorillas. Tarzan? Are you sure? Tarzan, go see Kerchak. Kerchak? He must be the leader. Perfect. I'll go along as an escort. After all, the jungle is a dangerous place. I'm not evil. I, I don't even try to hide it. Granted, you already know who he's the bad guy if you watch the film, Tarzan. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the film, but I digress. Anyway, what we're going to want to do is actually go up to the gorillas. They don't tell you where they are, so a lot of your first playthrough of this world will actually probably be a lot of fumbling around. But, uh, there's this guy again. I, I forgot the name, actually. What is the name of this tiger? I always forget. I, I probably said in a previous part anyway, but, um, he'll keep recurring every now and then until a certain boss fight later on in the game, so, um... If you want to grind experience, come enter and exit this p p p this particular section of the world and you'll keep uh, respawning. Anyway, with that, let's just head on to where we're actually meant to go. And if the Trinity, Trinity marks on the ground like this one are bugging you whenever I got party members out, don't worry, chances are I may actually return to do one. Although there is one Trinity mark in the game, I'm gonna want to explain something about later on, but that's way late. That's like near endgame stuff that I'm talking about, so... Just disregard everything. Now we've got a couple of areas we can go to right now. We can either climb up here. I don't know if that's the correct way to go though. It's been a while. But the way I usually go is straight across here. You have to do this platforming section by jumping on these hippos. Which I really wouldn't trust myself to do in real life. Because hippos are ferocious aren't they? I'm pretty sure they are. They're like dangerous creatures. But um, the jumping mechanics of this game are a bit dodgy. So it may be a bit troublesome but... Give it some tries, and uh, yeah, let's go pillage some, ooh, puppies. Come to me, my puppy, I guess. No, that doesn't sound right. Anyways, just keep climbing up to the trees. And is there a cutscene, or I'm in the wrong place? Kerchak, please listen to me. I know the nesting grounds are secret, but I trust them. You see, I want to help them because, because, well, they need us. Oh, did you get that? No! Kerchak! Kerchak! Ah, yeah, he did seem a bit distracted, but I do like how, um, when speaking in Gorilla, as you can probably tell from that cutscene, Tarzan seems to speak pretty much fluently perfect. It's like, he's a well-spoken person, but then you go into English and he goes, Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting tang, walla walla, bing bang. Anyway, we need to head on up to his treehouse, so, you know, the area we first entered in this jungle, because... Well, plot shenanigans are gonna happen, and as you can probably guess, Kerchak, not Kerchak, Clayton has disappeared. He has run off. That probably doesn't mean anything in the slightest, but so uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Let's just keep going on upwards to the treehouse and see what's happening. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I. Ooh, cutting. Okay, then. Let's 
a big idea. Wait, Kerchak, please. You done goofed. You don't understand. I was only trying to. Ah, a snake slithered by. You see, I saved that poor gorilla's life. Oh, you can't at least try to hide your evilness, Clayton. Seriously, ser just... You might as well wear a giant or pink shirt to screens. Look at me, I'm evil! Bah! You know... Hell, Dr. Eggman is more inconspicuous than you, for God's sake. In fact, he managed to trick the world multiple times into thinking he was reformed. I think I was Eggman. No, wait, that was Dr. Wily I'm thinking of. And again, Dr. Wily was a cunning genius who tricked the world into thinking he was a new person when he just changed his outfit slightly. I don't... Anyway, you might see that treasure chest, but that you can't get that just yet. You need a power-up later in the game. So let's just go end the part here and save it. Oh, I kind of love when plot significance happens. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm trying to remember what I was going to say before that cutscene happened. Nope, I got nothing. Anyway, with that, that is the end of uh, this part. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like or comment to the video, and I, if you can tell, I got myself a new microphone. So, I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on what it sounds like. So, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye!